In fact, they're so unabashed, they've allowed a filmmaker to document their backstage antics, warts and all. Here's Janine Hosking with this hugely popular group's brave new venture. And they didn't make them in sedans? No, because they, they, oh, they brought them out the same time as they had the Commodores. Ah, oh, right. Believe it or not, the hot and bothered guys packed in this Tarago van are the members of one of Australia's most successful rock groups. We counted four times that we'd jump in the Tarago in Brisbane and then drive to Melbourne and do another show that night. And, um, you know, that brings out the worst in anybody, you know, so... You know, you've got 20 hours to sit there and think of something to argue about, basically. I'm not listening to the black buck. It's my job. Listen to the sounds of the revolution. This is life on the road for the bad loves. The bad loves of green limousine fame. See, Pat? When he's at home with you, he's a nice guy. When he's on the road with us, he turns into a complete <laughs> So where's the glamour? Where are the limousines? We sort of didn't know what hit us when we went on the road for the first time. You just have to play every conceivable gig and support anyone who'll, who'll have you on the bill. Without you, I won't. The Bad Loves made a name for themselves two years ago with the first album that defied the odds. It stayed in the top 10 for 40 weeks. The hits just kept on coming. The first album was sort of successful almost to the point where it's almost impossible to follow. Just learning the songs here for the gig. Such is the interest in the band, the documentary maker Clayton Jacobson decided to capture the group warts and all. We had the camera right under the nose a lot of the times when they were getting into these sticky situations and they, they didn't respond to us, at, you know, they weren't aware of us at all. Well, we lost a band member, so, you know, obviously, you know, a certain amount of pressure built up and something had to give. I guess I'm a bit pissed off because in the equal situation where I'm too loud for you, you get me turned off. I'm out. Gone. And that cuts my f***ing volume in half and I scream a lot louder to make up for it and I burn my voice. It's surprising how, how well we get on, considering how much time we spent together. By every account, the arguments were few and far between. Ask anyone and they'll tell you that the bad loves are nice guys who actually like each other and despite the hits, are well aware of their humble beginnings. Does the documentary confirm all those cliches about sex, drugs and rock and roll? Oh no, well, that's all there of course <laughs> with, with us. But it's We're just... hoping to get some out of the doco. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully it'll lead on to that. It's all up to the public now. The new single is out. But the next time you see the glossy video clip, remember that somewhere out there are the bad loves back on tour and back in that van they despise so much. The old van doesn't look as glamorous as you'd think, does it? Now, still to come, Godfrey Bigot and the blue-collar...